Now here's Miriam Thomas with today's talk. Welcome to today's talk. Today we have Mrs. Sri Devi Yogeshwar, who's an artist. She's a painter, a sculptor, and she teaches art to those who are interested. So welcome to today's talk. Thank you. Mrs. Sri Devi, could you please elaborate on the work that you do? Um, I uh, uh, paint uh, uh, using medium of uh, oil paint, watercolor, poster, uh, the oil pastel, acrylic, and uh, mixed media, uh, fabric paint. Um, these are the things I do. So what motivated you to get into the art field? Uh, well, uh, um, I uh, brought him in uh, uh, art family. I'm the fourth generation artist. Um, my father, my great grandfather, they were all artists. So what kind of paintings do you do? Are they more landscape based or portraits, traditional, contemporary? Uh, most of the uh, painting uh, uh, I have done is uh, uh, fine art, which has a traditional touch in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has a very intricate, uh, detailed work. So you're more of a detailed person. Right. So I love to uh, put uh, some designs and minute things uh, in my painting. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I have also you know, experimented uh, with uh, modern uh, um, art. Uh, and uh, contemporary. Mm -hmm. Earlier when we were talking you were mentioning to me about how you do mural painting. Uh, yeah, I have done uh, a couple of mural paintings. Uh, one is um, I did uh, at my home uh, uh, for my daughter's bedroom. It's uh, Cinderella with castle. <laughs> she loves uh, Cinderella. She, uh, so I did that. Do you plan on taking this professionally, meaning you know interior decorating maybe? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love that. Oh, okay, so Based on that, what do you think your next steps are going to be? Uh, right now, I uh, started um, uh, taking uh, kids' uh, uh, workshops mm -hmm. and uh, I will be um, going around the D.C., uh, Virginia and Maryland area to demonstrate uh, uh, my artwork and uh, teach them uh, how they can uh, learn new technique uh, about uh, the watercolor or uh, pencil sketch, something like that. So what kind of art do you teach? Uh, for kids um, or adults, I start with the basic uh, pencil sketching. If they are good, and then I will uh, uh, give them the next level. Mm -hmm. um, then what is the next level? So it's um, like I. Uh, cover uh, the floral or uh, scenic view or the human face expression, mm -hmm. the body posture and uh, the animal uh, drawing and the cartooning um, and uh, um, kids are learning, uh, you know, Ganesha and uh, Mm, uh, some traditional artwork, uh, uh -huh. uh, the god, goddesses, they love to do that. So I started teaching uh, that one and uh, some miniature uh, drawing uh, which I love to you know teach them. Uh, some uh, portraits mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, interior design. And how long is you know a class? Depend upon uh, the student, how long they want to be, one or two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, ongoing classes. They can have uh, session wise or uh, they can keep on uh, doing one after another. Yeah. If they are done with the pencil sketching, they can go to the painting mm -hmm. and they learn the uh, next level. And can you please explain a little bit more of the workshops and the things that you do in a workshop? Uh, yeah, we recently started, uh, you know, uh, like uh, in a library, uh, taking uh, workshops uh, for uh, kids uh, or whoever interested, not only it restricted to kids, uh, mm -hmm. but also uh, adults, they can participate and um, uh, they just uh, can learn and they can ask questions uh, if they have, uh, uh, if they want to learn more. So what are the age groups that you prefer or you teach? Uh, it Depends. Uh, whoever you know, uh, they love to draw, or uh, have uh, kids coming uh, uh, three and a half, four years old to mm -hmm. you know uh, adults uh, in all age group they come. So it's based on passion, not age. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And are you offering summer summer classes or summer? camps? Yeah, in uh, summer camp, uh, in addition to uh, painting and uh, uh, pencil work, um, I teach um, giant paper construction mm -hmm. and um, uh, for girls, uh, henna, they learn henna mm -hmm. work and uh, some kind of rangoli. So I want them to you know, be in touch with um, uh, Indian traditional so, um, and also fabric painting. We did a uh, couple of uh, t-shirt painting and uh, I can I teach them interior designing mm -hmm. and um, jewelry, uh, jewelry making, making uh, yeah, all those stuff. So do you have both genders coming to your classes? Yes. Or is there, you know, 
more females than males? No, it, it's on and off. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, the girls will be more, sometimes the boys. It's different. So other than teaching henna, do you also go do it for your clients too? Uh, yeah, definitely. For if, weddings. Uh, yeah, wedding, if uh, they ask me to do the bridal uh, design, I do them. Uh, uh, either they can come home or uh, I can go there and I can do it. And is you have a daughter, right? Right. Is she very interested in art too? Yeah, she does uh, uh, pretty uh, good painting and uh, uh, she participated uh, in uh, many competitions. She won prizes. Um, I think, yeah, she has interest and passion. So like grandfather, like daughter, like mother, and now her. Yeah. Hopefully. So could you please explain a little bit more about your father? Um, my father, um, uh, he's a well-known artist in India. His name is uh, Shilpi K. Kashinath. And he has uh, done uh, um, the giant uh, statues out of uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. Could you please give me a few examples of the work that he has done? Um, yeah, he's a famous work uh, in India. One is um, uh, near uh, Airport Road, Bangalore. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a 65 feet uh, uh, tall uh, uh, Shiva statue over there. And um, there is a Mudeshwara, that is an island, uh, uh, there is one uh, 130 feet uh, tall Ishwara. Mm -hmm. And uh, near Bangalore, there is uh, Arsin Kunte, uh, where uh, he has made uh, almost 15 feet uh, Vishwara Rupa Darshana. Uh -huh. And outside, uh, there is uh, 130 feet long. Uh, uh, Krishna Arjuna uh, that is made out of uh, concrete, all those things. And uh, there is one in uh, Himachal Pradesh, um, uh, very big, um, it's almost uh, 50 feet tall uh, Hanuman yeah. sculpture is there. So, yeah, he, his uh, work is so many in India. And uh, uh, his work can be seen in uh, Silver Spring, uh, Maryland. Oh, wow. um, yeah, that is uh, uh, Udan uh, Mantapa mm -hmm. in Chinmaya Mission. So he has made that, and uh, uh, main work is his main work is uh, building uh, uh, temple dooms mm -hmm. uh, and uh, making big uh, giant statues. Was he your teacher? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but earlier, when we were talking, you said that your husband had no idea why, when he married you that you were an artist. So, what would you say is your husband's role? In your career? Uh, definitely like when um, I got married he didn't know that I do painting. Um, I uh, did my uh, master's back home in India. That, uh, like uh, painting this is this was my hobby. Mm -hmm. So when I came to this country nothing was there to uh, spend so I started uh, creating few paintings. He saw it and um, he loved it. So he ins like uh, he encouraged me to do more. That's how I uh, made a collection mm -hmm. and uh, I put it in display uh, in few places um, and uh, people came to know and uh, they um, give me appreciation and uh, that's how you know I took this uh, uh, as a you know kind uh, of professional but but so what was your original master's in? I trained as an IT professional and um, I uh, want to get into IT and um, this is my uh, hobby. I just want to you know keep this as a... Keep this um, alive. Yeah, alive. And teach younger students who are also right. very, very interested. So are you planning any exhibitions in this area anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I did uh, uh, quite a few uh, displays of my artwork. Where? Uh, um, it was few places. One is in the uh, city bank uh, mm -hmm. and uh, some of uh, the uh, government offices. So um, uh, I definitely want to uh, uh, like um, display my artwork. Uh, so that's why I'm making collections of my paintings. Uh, so if uh, some people give orders, I do you painting and uh, yeah. So where do you get these orders from? Uh, the orders uh, come basically from uh, the people who know um, me and uh, through my website as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what is website. your website? Uh, it's uh, www.shridevi.art.com mm -hmm. um, and uh, maybe word of mouth who has seen my artwork, they approach me and uh, they customize the design. Oh, okay. And sometimes do you just, you know, do you just do it for them without even getting a customized order? Uh, no, they have to give me order and the uh, size, how much they want, uh, mm -hmm. so that's how... What's you know. your biggest so far? Uh, I have done uh, the painting five feet tall. What was and, it? Um, it's a Vishwarupa Darshana. It has um, uh, three loka and uh, the, all the uh, dasha, more than uh, the Shavatara. Uh, it's a very minute, integrate uh, painting I have done so far. What medium is it? In? It's an uh, oil painting on mm -hmm. canvas. So you said it was five feet and it has a lot of intricate patterns and a lot of details. So how long did it take for you to finish that? 
uh, it took me uh, more than 10 months, uh, around one year, I would say. Wow. And during that time, did you also do other orders for other people? No, that time uh, I uh, started doing that side by side. I was just making collection for me to, you know, have painting. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, once Displays. I have more collections, definitely I can display uh, in uh, several pl places. So thank you so much for being on our show. We really appreciate it. And if anyone would like to learn more about Mrs. Sri Devi's work or would like to take classes with her, visit www.srideviart.com. Thank you for having me here. No problem. <laughs>